Good evening. We begin tonight with new developments on a story we've been following for weeks. Disturbing and persistent allegations by customers of the Bank of Montreal. Some of their accounts have been compromised. The bank continues to blame them. Now a new case where the customer tried to warn the bank but lost her money anyway. CTV's Austin Lee has been following the story for weeks and joins us live with the latest. Austin? Yeah, Graham, this story is bizarre in that the victim saw the red flags and went straight to the bank to alert them minutes after receiving a suspicious call. But it didn't matter. $15,000 was stripped from her account and she's been told that she will not be compensated. A year and a half ago, Carol Lemay received a suspicious phone call from someone claiming to be from Amazon Prime. He said, get out of what you're doing and look on your screen. You'll see you have Prime. Right away, it clicked. I thought, how does he know I'm on my computer? So I unplugged it, turned it off immediately, and I told John, we have to go to the bank. She says she did not provide the person with any information, and 15 minutes later, Lamy and her husband were at the bank, warning them that she was likely being targeted by scammers. They said, no, your money's all there, but we'll give you new cards. So they gave us a new um, debit card and a new MasterCard. And we changed the passwords and the PIN. Relieved, she returned home, but it was too late. And getting to my computer, there's no more money. A total of $15,000 had been stolen from her account, sent overseas via global money transfer. Lamy and her husband immediately went back to the bank. How could that have happened? So we were here like half an hour ago. And they said, well, it's a, a global transfer and we can't stop it. In a now familiar story, the scammer had access to her password and passcodes. The bank says she must not have protected her account and so she will not be compensated. But Lamy wonders why the transaction wasn't flagged. I mean, I've been with the bank, I don't know if I mentioned this, 52 years. And never, ever had transactions like that, never. And she's not alone. A lot of clients ask, you know, why didn't BMO ask me if this was a legitimate transaction? You know, I get these alerts for my Visa card. I get these alerts for my MasterCard. Why not this? So there's something up here that at least I'm seeing in my practice. And as a consumer as well, that's a bit concerning to me. Now, we've been asking BMO to put someone up for an interview for about a month now, but no one has been made available to answer any questions on camera. The bank says that customers need to be careful not to click on any suspicious links. And if someone calls you claiming to be from the bank, hang up the phone and call the number on the back of your bank card. Graham. Austin, the overwhelming majority of messages we're getting on bank fraud victims have been BMO customers, Bank of Montreal. But is there any indication... Uh, that BMO is seeing more complaints than other Canadian banks? Do we know? Well, Graham, I've been, I've been looking through annual reports, and there has been a huge uptick in complaints from Bank of Montreal co uh, customers from 2021 to 2022 to the ombudsman. There were a total of 331 complaints against BMO in 2021. That jumped to more than 1,400 last year. I'll be breaking down the numbers and comparing them to other Canadian banks on tomorrow's newscast. Graham. All right, CTV's Austin Lee sticking with it, reporting live for us.